That looks like a canteen, Kevin. Yeah. Not. It? It's was not. It? Was it not? It was it? King Kong. King Kong. Oh my goodness. Look a King at that. Kong toy. Oh, that's neat. Hey, I bet you know the other one. Hey, I bet you know the other one. That's for Godzilla. Hey, Godzilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He told me. Oh, it is. Godzilla versus King Kong. He must know that be, you would like that because of all the Godzilla pictures you draw in school. Is that why you thought of that? I guess so. Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. Today, in honor of my birthday, we're doing a special review of two very awesome toys that I got many, many years ago on my birthday from my best friend Derek. This is the 1985 Imperial King Kong and Godzilla. Now, I got these guys in 1989. Imperial got a lot of use out of these molds, and they cranked out these figures. There's also a much larger version of this Godzilla that's very well known. That looks pretty much the same. It was always a shame to me they didn't match up a little bit better. I played with them together constantly, but that King Kong is enormous compared to Godzilla. My introduction to the movie Monsters as a kid was first grade, and when I got to school in first grade, Everybody was into Godzilla, and kids were drawing Godzilla all the time. So naturally, I drew Godzilla too. Unfortunately, I had never seen Godzilla, so I didn't really know what he looked like other than he was a dinosaur with spikes on his back. And I would always be drawing the flames coming out of his mouth. My hand, every day, I'd come home from school with a black smudge here from graphite from my pencil on the side of my hand from drawing flames, scribbling the flames on the paper. Eventually... I got to start to see what some of these characters looked like because we had these awesome orange books in the school library that showed off some of the monsters. There was a different book for each classic monster. And then I went to this kid in my class's house, Derek, and he showed me Godzilla vs. Mothra, my first Godzilla movie. And that year for my birthday, he gave me these two guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that vintage footage at the beginning. King Kong is molded in black plastic. He only has articulation at the arms. It almost seems like he has an articulation point here at the upper chest, but it's just sort of like a mold or assembly line. Uh, it almost even looks like there's glue leaking down him here on my figure in the right lighting. There's like a, a shiny little line there and, and sort of a gap here, which I always thought was weird. But these were cheaply produced. As far as paint goes on King Kong, green eyes, a little hint of red on his nostrils and his tongue, and then of course he's got his big white teeth. Sometimes I see these figures with really sloppy paint jobs. Mine's not too bad, although there is just a little dab of white there on his lip. Here we've got Godzilla, my favorite of these two toys. I played with this Godzilla all the time. He battled everybody. He's molded in a black plastic as well that's got a nice green airbrushing over the back of him with some silver sprayed on his spikes. He's got the weird red lips that uh, everybody remembers about these Godzilla figures. White teeth, white claws on his toenails and fingernails, as well as white eyes. My figure's not terrible, but it's not the best quality paint job though either. Both of these action figures feature the Imperial logo on their foot and have that 1985 stamp on them. Here's the Imperial logo on King Kong. Both characters originally came with little hang tags around their necks. This is the tag from My Godzilla. I have no idea where the tag is to My King Kong. Um, somebody carefully saved this. I guess my, my mom removed them and this one ended up in a drawer in our house in the living room, and I found it many, many years later. King Kong's, I have no idea where it was, but this one actually lived on a bulletin board in my room from probably middle school through the day I moved out of my parents' house after college. Uh, so that's why I know where this one's at. It was kind of kept in a safe place. My senior year in high school, my best friend Derek and I created a movie called Godzilla Flick, where a Godzilla fanboy 
can't afford to pay his rent and his Godzilla toys come to life through the magic of stop motion animation and kill his landlord. And he has these crazy dreams and wakes up in the morning to find all his toys on the floor. And after he gets them all put away, he gets a note saying the landlord has passed away. Uh, it was a really fun experience, and these guys got not a lot of screen time in that, but they sort of got a special place, a special little tribute, because I had that birthday clip where I got these figures, and it just worked out so perfect to throw that into that movie. In the comments below, let me know if you'd like to see more of those home movie video clips related to toys. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos.